Let's get into your <laughs> forecast this morning. 71 degrees, you're stepping out the door. Gosh, Julian. Okay, uh, relatively calm, just a light breeze here, maybe out of the north and west about a couple miles now. We have got beautiful weather. It's going to be moving in for the start of the Taste of Charlotte later on today. Much less humid. We still got a little bit of elevated dew points this morning, but they're going to be coming down as we head throughout the day. Saturday looks nice as well, but still both days we're going to be in the upper 80s, maybe around the 90 degree mark on Sunday. As we see another frontal boundary, the potential for some scattered showers and storms. Starting to see the lower dew points beginning to creep in across central and northern portions of North Carolina. A few places a few degrees less humid compared to this time yesterday. Still though, maybe you're going to be getting some ice cream or any type of uh, cold beverage. Well, it's going to be melting relatively quickly here as we're going to be seeing temperatures again back up in the upper 80s. Pinpoint satellite radar this morning. It's mostly clear. No issues here. Let's zoom out. Let's go wide here across the eastern half of the country. What do we got going on? High pressure. It is in control right now and it's going to be staying in control over the next a couple of days. Future cast though, we're going to roll through your weekend and your full taste of Charlotte forecast. As we go through the day into the evening hours, beautiful weather. Heading into Saturday, it's more of the same across the Carolinas. Lots of sunshine in the morning as we head into the afternoon. Just a couple of clouds out there. But Sunday will be that potential that we might see a couple of showers and storms flare up here. See more cloud cover in the morning, already maybe a sprinkle or two around Statesville. But I'm going to be watching the afternoon hours. This is 445 on your Sunday up in the mountain. You see some showers and storms trying to move through, continuing into the evening hours. I don't think it's going to be a major deal across the Carolinas, but if we're going to see any wet weather over about the next three or so days. It's going to be Sunday afternoon and your Sunday evening. As for the next 12 hours, we're heading up into the upper 80s. A beautiful forecast in store. Upper 50s to around 60 for those overnight lows. Feeling more comfortable. And as you head out the door tomorrow, we've got more great weather ahead for your Saturday. Perfect weather for the Queen City News playoff softball game. That's going to be a big one. Less humid, keeping those low dew points around again for another day. Your pinpoint five day in seven day forecast. Those possible showers and storms Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. And then could see the low humidity stick around into next week.